Good evening, parents. Welcome to Hardin Valley Academy. Where achievement and excellence take flight. As you just heard from our faculty, Hardin Valley Academy is where achievement and excellence take flight. We're looking forward to our eighth year of existence and know that this year will be our very best. We have several supports in place for your child, and I would first like to start off by introducing our academy and freshman teams. Hello, I'm Mr. Brent Glenn. I'm going to be the freshman principal this year, HBA. And I'm Jen Beckler, and I'm the freshman counselor. We look forward to getting to know your freshmen this year. And helping them have a successful start to high school. Welcome to Hardin Valley Academy. I am George Ash, STEM Administrator. Rudy Furman, STEM Dean. And Ashley Miser, School Counselor for the STEM Academy. Hi, I'm Beth Howard, Principal of Health Science Academy. I'm Sarah Price, Dean of the Health Science Academy. And I'm Rachel Herbig, I'm the School Counselor for Health Science. Hi, I'm David Combs, the Liberal Arts Principal. Hello, I'm Jenny Driscoll, the Liberal Arts Dean. And I'm Anna Graham, School Counselor for the Liberal Arts Academy. Hello, I'm Tanya Childress, Principal of BLPA Academy. I'm Mike Wise, Dean of BLPA Academy. I'm Diego Contreras, Counselor for BLPA Academy. BLPA. Students today, leaders tomorrow. Not only do we have great support within our building, but we also have some great support organizations outside of our building. But they're run by parents. They are run by people just like you, and we need for you to get involved. You're going to hear a little bit about our three support organizations. We have our wonderful Hardin Valley Academy PTSA, and I want to say thank you to our PTSA for providing the new look to the front of our school. The picnic tables and the area outside are just beautiful and have definitely added to our school. We also have the Hardin Valley Academy Athletic Association that does support all of our athletic organizations and finally we have our Hardin Valley Academy Academic Foundation. Please play co close attention as representatives from these organizations tell you a little more. Greetings parents, my name is George Ash. I am the Athletic Director at Hardin Valley Academy as well as the STEM Administrator. Uh, I'm here to speak to you this evening about HVAC, the Hardin Valley Athletic Council. And um, just to give you a brief knowledge of what we do, we are uh, an organization made up of parents. Uh, we have an executive board and then representation from each of the athletic teams. Uh, and we work equitably uh, for all of the athletic programs. Uh, we are compliant with state law for booster organizations, so in uh, the coming days, please look for the membership form in uh, your student take-home folders and consider joining our athletic organization. We can definitely use the support. Our athletes and our coaches doing outstanding, uh, do an outstanding job, but uh, it does take revenue to run those programs and so we would be happy to gain your support. Also, by the way, we are currently looking for a president and vice president. So if those intrigue you in the, in the smallest measure, please make a, an effort to contact me and welcome to Hardin Valley Academy. Good evening. My name is Christy McCord and on behalf of the co-president Kelly Darden, we would like to welcome you to Hardin Valley Academy. We are the PTSA co-presidents and we would like to encourage you to be a part of this great organization. PTSA is parent, teacher, student, and we hope that you would be involved in this great organization. Memberships are $8 and for a family membership is $30. Through your membership, we are, at, we are able to provide landscaping, sitting walls, and picnic tables outside the front of the school, as well as student programming with My Amazing Life, Street Smart, Senior Portfolio, and Graduation Celebration. We are also very proud of the $5,000 we give in scholarships each spring to the most deserving students of Hardin Valley Academy. We invite you to um, attend our first meeting, which is Monday, September 21st at 7 p.m. in the school library. And also, I encourage you to sign up for eTalon, which sends you weekly updates on all that is happening in this extraordinarily busy school. You can enroll for this free service by clicking on the eTalon button in the quick links found on the front page of Hardin Valley website. Also, if you would like any other information regarding PTSA, please look for us on Facebook or on the school website as well. Thanks so much. Greetings. Uh, thank you for being here. 
Uh, it's great to have a captive audience uh, because I know that you are engaged in your students' education. I'm Gary Rokliffe. I'm president of the Hardin Valley Academy Foundation. And I'm here today just to talk to you briefly about the foundation and what we do for your students at Hardin Valley Academy. The foundation has a mission statement that is threefold. One is to help improve the technology and the infrastructure of that technology within the academy. Second part of our mission statement is to improve the physical infrastructure or the campus inside and outside the building that you are sitting in right now. Lastly and most importantly, the third part of our mission statement is to help fund the continuing education and the professional development of the teachers and the staff here at the academy. Each year uh, we have grant requests from many staff and many teachers to help them fund both their AP accreditation or to travel to conferences to improve their content that they deliver to the students in these classrooms at the Academy. Uh, in the area of technology we recently uh, purchased iPads for the guidance department to allow them to work on scheduling and other things in a portable environment using a, using a tablet. Um, in the areas of the campus improvement, you know, we've purchased book collections for the library, we've helped fund uh, some of the improvements in conjunction with the PTSA that you see outside the campus, uh, you know, the trees, some of the, some of the tables, the flower beds. Out back, if you've ever been in, in back of the academy, uh, we have an outdoor classroom that is slowly growing. Uh, that in turn has been funded with some grants. The way that we fund these projects here at the Academy is through a grant writing process. In the past we've received grants from Publix Corporation, Walmart Corporation, the city or town of Farragut, also from uh, Captain Planet Foundation. These are all public and some private foundations that we write to in order to get grant money to fund these projects. So, in conclusion, two things. One is, I'm asking for your help in terms of time. Um, we're looking for a few uh, professionals who, whether through your skill set or through your job, you have the ability to write well or you're good at grants or you've had grant writing experience. Donna Offutt is our grant chair and she's looking for a few individuals to help uh, fill out that committee. Secondly, Going home in the packet with your student is a letter that looks like this. It is our annual capital campaign letter. Uh, if you want information on how to contact us, it's on this letter. If you want to simply contribute a small contribution to uh, the foundation, you can do it through this letter. You can find us uh, on Facebook, you can find us on Twitter, you can find us on our own website, and you can certainly find us through the Hardin Valley Academy School website. Again, I appreciate your time, and I do appreciate any donations. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me, Ms. Reynolds, or any of the board members on the Hardin Valley Academy Foundation. Thank you. Parents, we need your support. We want to make sure that your child is working up to his or her level of capability. This means they've got to face challenge They've got to accept defeat and recover from it. They've got to persevere. All of this means that they've got to have grit. Grit is one of those soft skills that we have to teach our children so that they can be truly ready for life after high school. That is our biggest goal here that we have at Hardin Valley Academy, to make students ready for life after high school. I would like for you to watch this video that we shared with our staff last week and that we're going to share with our students over the upcoming weeks um, so that they understand what it means to have grit, what it means to persevere when times get tough.
troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up. To more than I can be Parents, please be there to support your child. Make sure that you carry them through those tough times, and we're going to do the same. And then right before they get to the very end, we're going to release them to ensure that they truly are ready for life after high school. Thank you for coming tonight. This truly does show your support. Teachers, if you will now hand out the schedules. Parents, you'll have about six minutes to get to your child's first period class. Have a great night, ask lots of questions, and be engaged in Hardin Valley Academy. Thank you.